Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to programmatically add an application variable in the web.config file. As you can see, currently we have one app application variable uh, in the app settings section in, your web, in the web.config file. What we want to do is add it programmatically another variable uh, to this file. So to start out with, we um, need the web that configuration system that web that configuration namespace and the system that configuration namespace. Um, first, you have to open the configuration file for for reading mm, for writing. So let's do this web configuration manager. Uh, open what we want to open is the web configuration. So there are different options that I can use for writing. Mm, let's get it. Put in the squiggly line desk. Same use the the path which is the the root of the application. Mm, so we'll get the Get the application style uh, working good. So now what we want to do is add another application variable. So we use the config uh, variable uh, to app settings, and then we want to use settings, and then add. Let's call it first. You give it the key. Uh, let's call it app two, and then the value app two value. And this step is very. The last step is very important. You have to save the config um, um, object class. Because uh, if you don't save it, it's not going to take, take the change. So it's like committing the database to make the changes. And let's save it. Let's run it. Um, well, you're not going to see anything, but if you go back to Visual Studio, it's going to tell you that the web that can pick up has been changed. So now you have two variables. And this has been another video of ASP.NET. Um, thank you for watching. Uh,